invite or did they do it? The 14, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, I, was I was there, I was there. Really? I went to Chile, yeah, yeah. 2008, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. Corey, take a picture of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Say pigs. Yeah, my um, do you remember a guy from Georgia, a uh, Swanee location in Gold? Back in the Mecca, champ? Back in the Mecca bodybuilding, we're here with Corey Flex. <laughs> What's up, who's, Corey? He's repping uh, Cutler Athletics. Yeah, and, yeah, he brought the fat grips and, uh, today. He's, he's also you. repping uh, Roots of Fight here, of course. Roots of Fight also. Jesse over there sent him some clothes. Jesse sent it to you? Uh, yeah. yeah. You don't have to buy clothes anymore. No, no clothes now. anymore. No, he's, he's only allowed to wear certain uniforms, so. <laughs> so we're going to hit a little chest today. Obviously, uh, you know, it's sunny in California in mid-January, which is kind of nice. <laughs> I've heard Vegas today is a little windy and chilly. I came out last night, so uh, things are going well. Obviously, I've been out and about and still doing some stuff, and uh, thanks. When do you bring your bike to Cali? <laughs> Everyone <laughs> wants to get video of me on the Ducati, right? I know. <laughs> doing, all this, doing all those stunts. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see when the weather gets... Uh, gets better in Vegas in order to get it, out, <laughs> get it out here, you know. I don't want to do that drive. We talked about that this morning. Yeah, yeah, no, no. The drive can be pretty crazy. So. All right, we're going to go inside and check this out. Yeah. You guys get tickets. Probably uh, a little bit of time, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can't say yeah. no. I do. Yeah, you waiting now? Like 2.30 or something? Oh, like 2.40 maybe. Wow. <laughs> Where you at? You let me scroll. I'm like 2.35, 2.40 in between there. That's cool. In between there and shit, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Everybody in here today, though. Yeah, man. I, I, I came late because I had to drop all little man at grandma's just so like, get over here and shit. I'm like, I need to work out. I'm like, you know what? No, no, I'm off. I'm off. So, we're here at the Mecca. Where's my bag, though? I gotta take my legend here. Oh. I know those are the same. So this is our this is our sample legend. And uh I'm gonna show all you guys out there. If you wanna stay hardcore, I'm gonna show you the hardcore way how to take your pre-workouts. Under the tongue. <laughs> Faster absorption. <laughs> it makes me a witch, yeah. What is that? Amino pump. <laughs> Double dose. <laughs> you can stack the two. <laughs> to be a legend, you have to take what a legend takes. <laughs> I say once every five to seven days, maximum twice a week, uh, repetitions like 12 reps on just like every other body part. The main thing is getting a full contraction. You know, I always try to do a standing movement, start with that, and I do a seated, sometimes throwing some donkey or some leg press, uh, toe presses. But the main thing is, is really get that, get that deep stretch at the bottom, really let the heel drop and get that stretch and then the nice peak contraction. And a lot of times like I'll double up, so I'll, I'll go up, 
and then I'll do a peek. It's a one-two. Yeah, like a, a one-two uh, motion that I've done since the very beginning. And listen, I had no calves, so everyone knows the conversations I've had. I've had trouble building my calves, so believe, believe. <laughs> you show them. Big Meme. <laughs> best of the best. We were on, we were on uh, Turkish TV together. What yeah, was that thing? It's a uh, uh, Canal D. Yeah, it's a very famous uh, uh, night show, show over there. What was that, 2007, 2006? Eight. Eight, 2008? 2008. Yeah, I went to Turkey and nice. Mehmet's a big star in, in Turkey. <laughs> He's a big, a big star, star everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was the best star too. <laughs> Good to see you, man. focus on the inclines. Obviously we did incline hammer. Just really trying to get, I think it develops overall chest, not necessarily the flat benches. I think it's the best exercise, but I think this really also hits the pecs in a full motion. But I always just felt, you know, it keeps my shoulders back more. A lot of the contraction, so you see how to control a lot of the reps. It's not just throwing the weight, you can feel the exercise. It's a pump right there. Amino pump to the whole workout. in the traditional way this will really allows you to really get that you can see how much blood you know even a retired guy can get in his chest you don't have that in Vegas this machine do you nah they have the selectorized version not the weights yeah yeah, 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 yeah yeah I still always think something with with free weights seems to be better motion range the problem this thing is you can go deeper with this with the weight stacks it's hard to get as deep of a yeah, stretch yeah, at the yeah. bottom. Always the peak contraction you can get, but yeah. You know, this is really good. I mean, it's a favorite here, so yeah. Oldies but goodies. Yeah, all the machines. I mean, it's changed. I know. You know, back in the day, I mean, I had a gym. I did barbell presses. I did, you know, dumbbell presses. I did it all, but it's like you know, now I can just. Uh, I'm just focus on doing a lot of different movements. You know. I don't want to make him look bad. <laughs> he was doing 70, so I'm going to go 80 next set just to make him Remember that video we filmed? 
film that uh, BPI with that guy and that girl? Yeah. Go chest. What was that guy doing? He wants me to do CrossFit. <laughs> oh, yeah, CrossFit. <laughs> All right, so ideally, table crossover. What I'm trying to do is I'm really trying to bring it in and really just trying to keep the chest up and really get a contraction in the chest. And that's why you'll see when I come down, the chest pops up. Really get that contraction. Good finishing movement, but also good isolation on the pecs to really get that squeeze. I still believe in pressing movements the most, but this is a great finisher really to get that, that deep stretch. And uh, obviously work the detail in for the competitions when you get ready for a show. So yeah, this will be the finishing exercise. So uh, incline hammer, incline uh, press. We did like a flat, almost uh, inner hand grip with this one. Uh, and then cable crossover is, uh, this is our is final move. It's four exercises. Uh, you know, we're getting our way back up. I'm trying to put on some size. I've added about 10 pounds, probably about 265 now and uh, working my way back up. So by the time a lot of the fans see me at the Arnold, I'll be back at, uh, you know, to some bigger standard. What's the, what's the goal for the Arnold? We're uh, like seven weeks out, six weeks out? Yeah, you know what? I think I would love to be 280, but you get I lean, see 275. You get well, lean, I'm, yeah. I'm, as I get four, I'm gonna get leaner, yeah. so it's illusion. I'm actually yeah. not gonna get that much leaner, but more push to the muscle, as you can see. I mean, when I train, I fill up a lot. Yeah. So my arms stayed pretty big, pretty good size. Yeah. It's just that I lost, you know, back in my shoulders, which I'm getting some fullness back. Everyone that seen me today said, "Wow, you're bigger than the last time." And uh, you know, that's the goal. But before the Arnold, we get the FedEx Pro, like in just yeah, three which weeks, in a couple of weeks. weeks. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I'm, I'll be, you know, I'm eating consistently. Yeah, yeah. I'm eating at least five meals a day right now, plus maybe a shake. So that's kind of the goal. I think. Um, You know, I need to touch a little more upon the diet here in these videos. I'd like to get some video of me uh, cooking and how I'm doing that. You know, I'm still eating at Teriyaki Boy in Vegas. Just making the food for me and yeah. eat to grow. Still sending me all my meat. So yeah. I try to cook at home, to be honest, though. Everyone that knows me knows that I follow a pretty strict diet regimen, even off season. And when I'm home and not traveling, I really try to cook the meals. And... Uh, You know, obviously, Cutler Nutrition is going to keep me super busy. Mm. I'm doing a lot of the trade shows. I added another Cutler show in Virginia this year. Wow. Which is in Richmond. So uh, you got eight end now. Of, end, of, end of August, so. Is that eight? Uh, it's, I think it's, I think it's eight. Yeah. Seven or eight. I think you were at seven. And I'm looking at a couple international places, you know. I'm not wow. going to. Really? Wow. I'm trying to get ex not get excited about it, but I've got some interest internationally. Wow. And, you know, hopefully, eventually have a pro show at one of these things. That, that would, would be great. That'd be really cool. Yeah. All right, Jim. great for stretching this thing. You squeeze the fifth one. <laughs> yeah. I cheated. I lied to everybody. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, I just wanted to stretch, you know. As I'm getting bigger, I haven't got into back into the therapy like I I used to do. I want to make sure that I stay kind of pliable and keep the fibers loose. And I really like doing all that, uh, all that stretching, you know. It just allows me to you know, open everything up because I know when I get under the heavy weights, like I only went up to like 100 pound presses to have inclines. I mean, I was down to like doing 80s and uh, struggling to get 12 in the time I took down. But as I get higher, I, I still feel a little, a little weak in there. So I want to make sure I stay pliable because I don't want to tear something as I get bigger.
That's it, Jay. Yeah, so we it's knocked out some chests and calves today here at the Mecca Bodybuilding, sunny California. This is what it's like <laughs> on January 21st. <laughs> nice. 2015. Can't be death when I, it's keep, I keep writing my checks and I keep putting 14 on your checks. You never do that in <laughs> Usually, yeah, in January, usually. It I know, I know everyone watching this is probably like, man, I do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to get used to like... A new year. Yeah, yeah. so... All right, all right. Well, thanks for having us today, yeah. man. People will be glad to see, uh, see you. And then, and we'll shoot some more at the Fit Expo. So come and see you, right? All the fans over there. Come and see me uh, at the, the Fit Expo LA. Uh, February 7th and 8th, and 8th yes. of February. And, but before that, I'm in, uh, in Montreal. So you guys up in Canada. Oh, nice. I'll be up there uh, doing an appearance on the 30th and the 31st before Super Bowl. It's going to be really cold. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're back.